This is how you can code an advanced badge checker system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code, and of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. Any of this is a of interest you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video so we can start by going over to community and we can go ahead and create badge check.js and here we can do columns we're going to get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get the discord.js package then we can do module.exports we can get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder then we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be badge check and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say check who has rare badges within your server and we're going to go ahead and add a string option so we can do add string option we can do option error function option dot set name this is going to be badge and we can go ahead and say a description and we can go ahead and say the rare badge to index and we can go ahead and add choices we can do add choices and then we can actually go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and start by getting our name which is going to be our staff and then we can get value which is going to be staff again and we're actually going to go ahead and copy this so we can go ahead and add a comma and then we're going to go ahead and copy this whole thing so we can keep doing it and we can go ahead and paste it and we're going to go ahead and say partner and right here we can go ahead and say partner and then we can go ahead and paste it again we're going to go ahead and get certified moderator and then in here we can go ahead and get certified moderator and then right here we can go ahead and get hype squad and in here we're going to go ahead and get hype squad as well we can go ahead and paste it again instead of staff we're going to go ahead and get verified a bot and we can go ahead and get verified bots as well and we're going to go ahead and paste it right here we're going to go ahead and get early supporter and then in here we can go ahead and get premium early supporter and we can go ahead and paste it again we're going to go ahead and get verified bot developer and then in here we can go ahead and get verified developer and then lastly we can go ahead and get active developers we can get active developer and in here we're going to go ahead and get the active developer badge now one thing that i want you to notice is that these are the names of the badges on the left side for the name and for the value, it's a little bit different. So it's going to have staff and partner, but here's going to be certified moderator together. And then here it's verified bot together, premium early supporter. So what this is, is this is what we're going to be indexing with. So we're going to be checking to see if the flags of a user include this specific badge. So just make sure you go ahead and do the value the exact same as I did. Otherwise, it will not actually work because these are very specific. So then we can go ahead and start required. So we can go ahead and start required. We're going to make true. We can do comma. We're going to get our async execute. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up we can do const we're going to go ahead and get our options and then we can do equals interaction and we can do const check equals options that get string and that is going to be our badge and then we can go ahead and defer reply here so we can do await interaction defer reply and we can go ahead and get informal so we can do informal and we're going to go ahead and set that to true then we can do let members and we're going to go ahead and set that to an empty array here and we can do await interaction dot guild dot members dot cash dot for each so we can do for each here we're going to do async member and we can open this up with an arrow function and we can say if array, and then we can do dot includes and we can go ahead and get check then we can simply do members.push and we can go ahead and get our member so if the members badges include our check which is right here so the selection that the member chose so let's say they chose the partner badge here if the members badges includes the partner badge then it's going to go ahead and put that member into our array right here so then what we can go ahead and do is we can do if and we can go ahead and get members.length is equal to zero. Then we can go ahead and do members.push and then we can just go ahead and input none right here. So we can do none. So basically if the members.length is equal to zero, then all we have to do is say that there are no members. So then what we can do is we can try and we're going to do await interaction.edit reply and we can say contents and we can say the people with the and we can go ahead and open up our check and we can say badge within this server and we can go ahead and do backslash n backslash n and we're going to go ahead and do a arrow here and we can go ahead and open this up we can go ahead and get our members.join and we can actually go ahead and open up a string we're going to do a backslash n and then we can do an arrow and a space so that it's going to be formatted properly and then we can go ahead and add a catch here so we can catch an error we're going to go ahead and open that up 
we can return await interaction edit reply and we can say content and we can say there are too many and we can say people with the we can go ahead and get check badge to send and that's actually all we have to do so one other thing to keep in mind is you could actually add any of the badges you would like to this option here but uh, unfortunately, all of the other badges would be very, very overused. For example, if we were to add the bravery badge, the Hype Squad bravery badge to this and they selected it, then it would always return this error because chances are within your server, if you have a lot of members, there's going to be like thousands of people with that badge. So it won't be able to fit all of those members within the message. So it's just going to go ahead and return an error. So technically this is going to check the people who have the rare badges that most people don't have and not the popular badges. All right, so with that, we are actually done. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is, this is supposed to be members.push, not member.push, otherwise that would not work. So after you fix that, we can go and actually restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So we can go ahead and get our badge check here. And we're going to go in and put something that we know nobody has within the server. So I'm going to get staff. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say the people with the staff badge is none because there are no Discord staff within my server. So next we can go ahead and check something that we know a lot of people have. So we can just go ahead and do active developer here. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say the people with the active developer badge. And it's going to go ahead and give me a list of all of the members within the server who have that badge. Now we can also go ahead and check again. This time we'll do verified bots. We can go ahead and send it. It's gonna go ahead and give me all the verified bots within the server. So we can actually go ahead and test this out within a bigger server here. Um, I have my server here, it has about 5,000 members. So we can go ahead and do some badge checking here. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and check is the staff badge. Now there are no Discord staff in my server, so it's gonna return false for that one. And we can go ahead and check certified moderator this time. So there's gonna be three of those and we can go ahead and do another one. This time we can go ahead and get partner and it's gonna go ahead and give me the partners within my server. And finally, we can just go ahead and get hype squad. So as you can see, it's gonna give me all of these people with the rare badges and it's gonna give me their profile so I can actually see the badge on their profile. So the last thing that we can do is we're actually gonna go ahead and check the active developer. Now, if we go in and send it, you're going to notice it's going to say there are too many people with the active developer badge to send. Now, if we were to go ahead and get the server badges command here, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say that there are over 2,000 people with that badge. So obviously, it can't put 2,000 people within a message. So that's why it's going to go ahead and give me that error. So that's how you can code an advanced badge checker command for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.